Hi guys, I have some uh, more live webcams to pass along to you. But look at this Hurricane Dorian, wow. How straight lined she is right along the coast. South Carolina, North Carolina, yeah. That's how hurricanes roll. Straight lined right along the coast. Well, we know they want people off the coast and they're going to do it because they're going to just continue to bring destruction and increase insurance rates and eventually it will be unaffordable to live on the coast for most. So really, is this what hurricanes used to look like? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Straight lined, straight lined here. Are they creating a high pressure zone here? Oh yeah, Hurricane Dorian. Well, just because it ain't what mainstream media is reporting does not mean that they're not going to be bringing a whole lot of damage. Here's College of DuPage. Ah, yes. It's being heated up. And let's look at radar. How straight line she is. Well, what are they saying? It's a hurricane. It's a cat two now. A cat two means 96 to 110 miles per hour. Well, let's just look at windy. Uh, the highest wind speed I could find was 64 knots. And 64 knots is like 74 miles per hour. That's the highest. And then the outer bands, 43 knots. 30 knots. I don't see a category two. Neither does the National Data Buoy Center. And yeah, let's look at the buoy for Foley Island, South Carolina. 35 knots gusting to 41. And the knot speed, the conversion, you just multiply the knots by like one, I think it's 1.15, I think. Well, no, again, no, it's not a hurricane. And this is Gray's Reef, Savannah. Come on, give me the data. Give me the data, please. Well. Okay, 40 knots, gusting to 50. Here are the live cams. Polly, Polly's Island live beach cam. Evacuation orders clearly have been adhered to. You see no one, but uh, looks like a regular beach day with no sun. This is Windjammer. I think it's Myrtle Beach. Is it Myrtle Beach? Island of Palms, South Carolina. People out and about. Less sun here. So, what's this Myrtle Beach boardwalk? And I gotta refresh the page. Looks like higher winds down here in Myrtle Beach, but no rain. What we are seeing, well, you should be getting a lot of rain along the coast. So I need to hear from you guys in Florida. How did you fare? Uh, Southeast Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. Already you should be getting rain. Are you getting any rain? What's going on there? Because our live cams are not showing any rain. Windjammer volleyball cam. 
Let's refresh. They're playing volleyball. Wow. So, what is mainstream media saying? Well, state of emergency expanded as Georgia coast feels Dorian impacts. It's expanding to nine counties, uh, expanding their state of emergency to nine additional counties. Yet they opened, they reopened, they had closed but reopened I-16. But it's not an in invitation for the general public to go to the coast. It was to expedite access for rescuers, supplies, and equipment. After the hurricane passes, bullshit. They didn't have to open it. Interstates, highways, if the first responders need them, they're allowed to travel on them, but they're closed to the public. And, you know, all you need is just, you know, one person at the entrances of these interstates, one cop, you know, allowing the first responders to go and not allowing the public to go. But they reopen this before the hurricane hits. That does not make any sense. Nothing makes sense. Nothing is making sense. Um, as Hurricane Dorian pushes north and South Carolina braces for flooding. Not seen in decades. Again, these headlines are unbelievable. Well, I, again, need to preface if they want you guys to get flooded out, you will get flooded out. And it's not going to be a hurricane that brings it. It'll be man causing the flooding. Not seen in decades. You see these headlines. Hurricane Dorian threatens millions along the East Coast. And yet, you know, Florida, mandatory evacuations, you know, for days and days, People running out to stores, you know, they're buying all of their supplies. Home Depot in one area ran out of plywood. The, the inconvenience, the enormity of inconvenience to millions of people. And, well, from what I hear, Florida, unscathed. Will South Carolina be unscathed? North Carolina? Well, you can't tell by looking at this because what we see is rain right now happening. South Carolina beaches. Well, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. So, uh, that's, you know, it's really important to get accurate, truthful information so that people know, you know, how to plan. When we get this kind of information, how do you know what the hell to do? But when you know man can control weather and man is using that weather as a weapon, then you're kind of like, okay. I guess I'm going to be inconvenienced for a whole long time while man is causing all of this upset. And I don't know what the hell is going to be happening, so I guess I'll leave or board up my house and try to protect it. All right, so I need to hear from you guys in Georgia, South Carolina. Tracking Dorian Cat 2, hurricane batters east coast with rain, wind, already impacting South Carolina. It is? Really? Okay. Whatever you say, mainstream media, whatever the hell you say. Uh, Dorian's still powerful. Weather deteriorates tonight. 
It deteriorates tonight. Um, do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? Okay. These um, straight lines and then the lines evenly spaced. They're putting it in our face. They are putting it in our friggin' face. They don't care what we know. Microwaves used to heat up the atmosphere. These are the storm surge figures. All right. Um, you've got curfews already in North Carolina. Look at this. Are they not putting it in your face? Look at this. You see these straight edged cutouts? And you see what looks like a braided rope? This is the eye of the storm. These are smoke clouds, artificial clouds. I have a video on my playlist, weather modification, artificial cloud making. And in that video, I go into smoke clouds. That's what they call them, these artificial clouds. This is the eye. They're, they're so putting it in our face. Anybody who looks at this if it doesn't beg questions in their mind, then that mind is not operating. So curfews now in effect for Cape Fear region. A citywide curfew, Boiling Spring Lakes, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Wednesday and Thursday. Whoa, already. Curfew is in effect from Wednesday, today, through Saturday. Uh, 8 p.m. until 6 a.m. Caswell Beach area. Carolina Beach elected officials have voted to enact a curfew starting at 8 p.m. on Thursday. This limits people from being off their property and suspends alcohol sales. Oh, good. You know, very interesting. Starting at 8 p.m. So you'll have a lot of people running out to get the alcohol. Um, but the curfews, well, haven't they been evacuated? Look, guys, stay safe, all right? I'd love to hear from all of you, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia coast, Florida. How you doing? Um, yeah. Yeah, man. This is Mother Nature please. Fast facts. Category 2 storm. Not at 74. No, category 2 is 96 to 110. You can't find that. Um, what are they saying? North Carolina, South Carolina, bracing for a direct hit Dorian could potentially make landfall Thursday or Friday. So you have mainstream media forecasting, but the curfew doesn't correspond. Uh, why and some of the curfews, you know, on Thursday. Citywide curfew. Thursday. So, but mainstream media it may have a direct hit on friday when it comes it comes that was sam wooden charleston south carolina you know god always provides y'all really well he's not providing for an awful lot of people u.s navy ordered ships based on virginia's coast to head out to sea to avoid the hurricane wow 2 p.m. Wednesday, Dorian had maximum sustained winds, 105. All right, well, stay safe, everybody. All links are below. This is not Mother Nature. This is a manufactured storm. 
causing an awful lot causing an awful lot of inconvenience and problems for millions of people.